the island of Skye, shrine of a dream that died when Bonnie Prince Charlie took a boat there and vanished in mist. A special place to go. But special places deserve special journeys. You don't just arrive at magic. It has to be conjured. So the best way to reach your own boat is indirectly. You go past the lock of the fortress, through the field of the storms, you pass the rock of the raven, and stop at the field of the willow. Leaving Inverness, the train heads through country that has itself become a legend, but remains a reality. Full of its own journeys, its own urgency. The train is a part of that, affording us glimpses of the present that animate the grandeur of the place and leave it intact. But we have our own destinations. The first is Dingwall, for the railway line is also a lifeline, serving an area close enough to be a neighbourhood. Chickens for Ewest, papers for Dingwall. Here the romantic and the realistic are on friendly terms. The key has a practical purpose. It means that no other train can run on the single track, an accepted promise of safe conduct. It also unlocks the highlands. From here, the train obeys the mountains, for the Kyle line follows a natural course from Dingwall to the sea. Coming up through Ochternied, the high place above the valley, falling past Craigenir, the rock of the raven. It is a compromise that men have reached with nature. Because of it, we have Loch Garb at our windows. Loch Lufert, the Loch of the Fortress. Not all journeys go so smoothly. For some, the only mountains are manufactured. But the train is moving through vistas, where the only other movement is animal. The stags putting on their war paint remind us that the deer antler is the badge of the Mackenzies. It is their land we are crossing. Not everybody welcomes us.
but concealment is strictly for the deer. The mountain goat won't even pause in his chewing. High on his talent for climbing, he knows himself above our purposes. Nasheen is the summit of our journey, the field of the storms. The station is a railhead for places north, Kinloch U and Gaerloch, Loch Marie and Pool U. This is as high as we climb. It is the place where west and east bound trains have to meet in order to pass. From here, for everyone, it's all downhill. And with or without the whiskey, we'll be seeing things. to wait at Achne Shelech, the field of the willow. Schellech, at one time the site of a hunting lodge, is now a regular station on the line. A pause in the busy present. of another time which nature has reclaimed. But we still have the right of way. But not all the inhabitants of the places we pass acknowledge our authority.
Grathcarran is the gateway to Loch Carran and to Applecross and Glen Shieldig in the Torridon Mountains. But only the train has the key to the loch. Not again. While the cars wait to follow the loch for part of the way, the train will be with it till it meets the sea. It's a loch worth staying with. This is where the line used to end from 1870 to 1897. But now the train goes on from here. The caper Cayley isn't too disturbed by his noisy neighbor. He knows the train won't be waiting, but he's certainly curious enough. Across the salt waters of Loch Carran, the coolons of sky become visible. But between them and us, we still have places to see, like Plockton. blasted out of the rock. And when it finds the sea again beyond Durinish, it never leaves it. Inverness to Kyle Flocage by train is a journey unlike any other. Every year more people discover it. Every year more and more people use this train. They buy more than a ticket. They buy a special way of seeing. They buy glimpses of beauty that only they can ever see. You might say that it's a journey they are likely to remember on the line to sky. 